Hello, hello. Are you ready? Today I'm going to talk about the most disappointing books manga that I read in the year of 2023. I used to do this more of like the worst books, but I think that that's not necessarily the vibe I'm going for with these because I didn't hate any of these. Eh, there's maybe one that I just just really disliked, but the rest of them was just kind of meh or just disappointed. The vibe is disappointed, so let's just get into it and nag about some books we didn't like. I have five manga here and then a book that I will put at the end if you're interested in hearing about that. We'll start with number five in the manga. I have Blade of the Immortal. I DNF this. I know, I know. Controversial. It's a seinen that's very, very popular. I've learned that not all seinen is for me and that's very strange because I love the art. The art from this series is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous artwork. It has nothing to do with the art, has nothing to do with the physical printing of the book or the artist. It's just I was bored. I might pick this up next year at some point if I get interested, if my husband picks up another volume of it because he did pick this one up. I was just so bored. I, I read about half of it and I could not force myself to read anymore. There are parts of it that I'm interested in like the girl wanting revenge and everything but I don't know. I just it felt so repetitive already. It also felt very slow and I guess I just wanted a little bit, little bit more action. I really liked Vagabond, so I think I was expecting a little bit more of that. Number four on this list is Oshinoko. Ugh, like, I know that this has been one of the most highly anticipated manga of the year or one of the ones that people have had the most hype about, at least initially. I haven't really heard anyone talking about it since the anime first came out and the first volume was released. The reason that I did not like it, I did finish this volume at least. I love the beginning. I was really into it. I loved the girl, the celebrity girl, but the way it ended, I absolutely was uninterested in continuing after that. And if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. Something happens at the end. While I do know that that's like a big impact and ooh, what's, what's gonna happen? I liked the person that was affected so much that I just, I can't, I can't pick it up anymore. I don't care anymore. And that makes me so sad because I'm sure this is a fantastic mystery series. It was kind of like Monster for me when I read that first volume. I was very interested in the beginning and then just really quickly ran out of gas. And I'm really sad because I think this would have been a great series, but I just not interested and I probably will never pick it back up but if I do I'll tell you how my thoughts have changed but for now I'm just not gonna continue that series. Number three is Snow White with the Red Hair. This is a shoujo beat series that's very very long and I think it's still ongoing. I'm really sad that I don't like this one because I love a good long shoujo series that gives me a lot of fun things to read, a lot of romance, a lot of uh, fantasy sometimes. Got the first two volumes to give it a good try. I expected to like it and honestly I was just bored and I didn't believe the romance. It seemed too fast. It didn't have any stakes. There was no effort put into the relationship. I I just felt like it was like, oh yeah, I made these two characters to be together and that's just how it's gonna be. Yeah, I think with Snow White with the red hair, maybe I expected too much or maybe it just really didn't live up to anything because I've seen a lot of people quit reading at like volume seven and I, I just don't see a lot of people talking about it. So I'm happy for the people who do enjoy it and I'm really sad that I don't. If I ever just get the mood to do it again, sure, but see that happening. I don't see there being any desire for me to pick it up again because I just was not captivated by the characters in any way. I did like the apothecary part of it. I thought that was really fun but that wasn't like the majority of the story. Number two is Stray Cat and Wolf. This is by the same creator as Cheeky Brat which I have not read so I don't know if I would like Cheeky Brat. I've never read it. If there was like a free chapter or two I would give it a shot because a lot of people have compared the two and said they're very similar in vibe or style or just character dynamics. And that's very sad because it looked interesting to me just reading the description. But I picked this one up instead because I like the cover. It was honestly the cover by and it's not really the age gap that was the issue. Of course, I don't believe in that in real life, but this is a book, whatever. It was just the characters. I didn't believe the romance between them. It was moving very fast. 
he seemed very um, domineering and pushy and she seemed a little too immature and like like she didn't want to do half the stuff that he was saying. I don't know. I just got a bad vibe and I didn't like it and I didn't believe the romance and like that's a big thing for me. If I'm reading a romance story I want to believe it and it doesn't have to be like a fluffy perfect romance where everything's wonderful and rainbows. I'm reading some toxic stuff and I've read some toxic stuff. It's the fact that I just don't believe it and I don't believe this one. I don't I don't think the guy is hot. I don't think the girl is interesting. I think the situation is weird. I just didn't like it. I do like that it's about rock music. I absolutely love that part of it. Not enough to continue it so I did drop this series. And number one that I was disappointed in manga wise this year is Skip Beat. Listen, listen, I'm so sorry. I was already skeptical because of the art style, the pictures that I had seen from the series, especially the men, but I was willing to give it a shot. I was like, okay, it's an older series. It's an older shoujo. Men were not drawn very well back in the day. They looked really weird, but I'm still gonna try it. It's a really long, long series. And I, I wanted a long shoujo and I picked up the first volume or two and uh, I was bored to death. I DNF'd it after like 90% of the first volume. I was so bored. Didn't care about it. I, I think it was the fact that it felt too static for me, if that makes sense. Like there wasn't enough going on. Like the girl, I didn't like the girl that much in the first one. I'm sure she would have grown on me, but I don't know. I guess I was annoyed. I think I was annoyed with the characters. I didn't see value in continuing. <laughs> and I know that makes me very sad because this is such a beloved series that so many people rant and rave about and it's like in their top favorite shoujo. But it, it just wasn't for me and that's the essential story of it. I do read stories about famous people so I don't think that's the issue. It just wasn't for Chelsea. <laughs> I doubt I'll ever try it again because I was so bored. A lot of people do like it so Please don't take any of these criticisms or opinions too seriously because this is all just me. All right, so that's all of the manga that I was disappointed in and I will continue to talk about a book that I was disappointed in. So if this is the end for you, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe for more manga content and uh, let's get on to the book. I read nothing but blackened teeth. It was the first book book, word book, that I got back into at the end of this year. I took like a really long unintentional hiatus from book books because I just wasn't in the mood to read them. But this one was the one I picked up first and it's a novella. It's one of those that I heard people talk about good and bad but then it was really cheap one day at Barnes and Noble like add it to your cart kind of situation. So I got it for like five bucks and I was excited to give it a try you know. Well it wouldn't hurt. Honestly I don't remember much about it. It's very forgettable. Not memorable. There were these this group of teenagers who you're told that there is like some deep-seated anger and resentment to each other at the beginning, but you don't really know why. You're only given like 20% answers when it comes to the resentment in the friend group. There was just so much with the main character that you're like, well, they've got to reveal the reason for why they all hate her. Like they all hated her for some reason, but why was she invited to this grouping? I don't know. And normally in that situation in a horror book, they'd want to kill the person who they hate. That's why they invited them to this scary place, but that's not the situation. It was supernatural. I, I like that part of it. I like that it was in a Japanese mansion. I thought that was cool. The setting was really nice. But other than the setting and the vibe, it's forgettable. Absolutely nothing will stay in my mind about this book other than those things. I will be keeping it on my shelves because I like novellas and I want more people to read them and I do plan on one day sharing my library with a group of people so I will be keeping a few more of the books that I read if I think someone else might like them even though I didn't love them. Just for regular books though not manga. <laughs> Too much manga for me to do that. I will keep it. I think I gave it like two stars. It's just forgettable. Um, if you've got a day or half a day to waste on a book and you're curious go ahead and read it let me know your thoughts but everyone I've talked to that I discuss books with personally they they said the same thing like it was just very forgettable but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it these books and manga were not the worst things I've ever read honestly I've read much worse manga and books so um like I said take it with a grain of salt let me know if you like the books that I talked about or if you had some disappointing reads this year I'd love to hear in the comments and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video bye guys